Hey. Yep, I can hear you. Sorry about that. My phone died. Um, I'm unplugged into my battery bank now. Okay, uh, 250. Uh, we can be there in about an hour and a half. Is that does that work for you? Hour and a half. Um, is that like 4:30? That would be about 4:30. Can I get the exact address now, and then I can give you a, a more accurate ETA? Sure, no problem. I'll text you. Fantastic. Okay, awesome. Let's, let's do a deal. Okay. So how much is it total? Uh, we'll go ahead and do the i7. So what did I say? You said 180 for the i7 system. Yeah. Um, why is there a hard drive written here? 15 for the SSD. And then what else did we what else did we take? Um, just five bucks for the fan. That was it. Really, you're gonna charge me oh, for the fan yeah, now? Fair enough. I'm not gonna charge you for the fan. I was you asking what else it took, and I just... He's only he's charging me for the fan because I told him it was worth something. You <laughs> I'm paying no damn fan. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. So it's 195? 195, okay. I'm uh, allowed to. I have a window of how much I could charge for these things, and that's pretty standard. Okay, yeah. okay. So then we're good. Because, yes, he did figure out who we were exactly um, because your alias is. And you're wearing a shirt. Ash Ketchum. <laughs> <laughs> the email is not supposed to be used for Craigslist. It's just That's a burner email. burner email. It's just a burner email. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. You need to do pictures. Can we do that? Yes, yeah, definitely. April, yeah. can I trouble you for a picture? Yeah. Thank you. But it's cool as long as we bought the system square. Absolutely. Yeah. We can't take an advantage. I really don't think that could have gone any better. No, we not have really. A possibly serviceable power supply. Yeah. So we got a 3770, 8 gigs of RAM. I really wanted 16 gigs of RAM. I know, but it just... It won't help with the benchmarks. Yeah. You're right, I know, I get it. Uh, so we have CPU, RAM, motherboard, case, maybe a power supply, and we've got a lead on a 980 Ti for 250 bucks that we are going to start driving to get to right now. Which is insanity, so let's go. I will believe this graphics card when it's like in our system and on and doesn't crash before you run a benchmark. It's $250 for 9 Ti. And like he calls you, you say we have one for 275 that's far away that we are willing to get. Can you price it at the same amount? And he says, no, it's cheaper. And it's also water cooled. Maybe. Like I don't, I don't. I think he just wants to move it. So we left there with almost a full system. It just didn't have a graphics card and the power supply was a little sketchy. But while we were there, Linus got a call with a lead for a 980 Ti. So our plan at that point was just to go and we secured a deal where we could come back to CSS possibly and buy another power supply if we needed to do some weird power supply system thing. And we took off an hour and a half to somewhere completely different to pick up a 980 Ti that happened to be water-cooled. Man, that was sick. Paul and Kyle might be able to hear me through the door, so I'm trying to keep this down, but that was awesome. Radio After Shack, that. everything must go. Entire store on sale. I want to go to Radio Shack. Yeah. Can, we, can, we go to, can we go to Radio Shack while we wait? Yeah. I want to go to Radio Shack. I, no one has said no. Okay. Can you be less of a dick? <laughs> okay. So what we have to know then, though, is um, I see there's a little note in the box. Uh, when did you figure out who we were? Kind of knew. Oh. Thing is, though, I didn't know if it was going to be you or not, because your voice is a little different. It is imperative that you would have done this deal for 250 for someone else. Yeah. I've been trying to sell for a while. Okay. When, when was the first time you posted on Craigslist? Like two weeks ago. Okay. It's okay. been a while. Okay. Not many people are gamers right now. Okay. Okay. So that's fine. Does it still work? I'm sure it does. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah we, it, would have, it would have killed us to, uh, to arrive here yeah. and find out we couldn't buy this from you. Is there a fan? Okay, so we actually need to make a decision right now on the power supply. Do we take the power supply, which gives us $15 for the theme? Is it possible that we could pick up the power supply tomorrow? If we decide we want it? Yeah, I'll be here. I think, I think we should just take it. I, I think, think you're so. wrong. I don't think so. I think you're wrong. I think we should How just take it. How am I wrong? 
You're wrong in that I really don't think that thermal take is going to power this thing. But if it does work, then we have, I guess he already knows this anyways. If it does work, then we have $45 for RGB, which is like pretty wicked. 10%, man. Four out of the six benchmarks are We can are build gaming. tonight. Four out of the six benchmarks are gaming. Yeah. Okay. This has a water cooler on it. We can probably make up our stupid 10% just by being able to power it properly. And we can find leaves on the side of the road. <laughs> Buy some flowers for four bucks for red. And More we'll flowers like a, for blue. If we like cut a hole in the side panel, have the flowers coming like out. A creative art. Okay, fine. I think we take the power supply. Whatever, man. Okay. Okay. So sorry. Graphics oh. card, power supply. Yeah, sorry. We're. We've never actually worked together on this before, so we're discovering that. First time, right? We really don't get along that way. <laughs> <laughs> we were really worried about the power supply because if we got a 980 Ti but couldn't power it, we have a super amazing computer that can't complete any benchmarks and we end up disqualified. So we have $15 left for RGB lighting. Or do you just want to get your RAM and we do leaves? Yeah, I could get my RAM. Maybe. Let's, I let's, want my RAM. Let's... Thank you. Thank you. Is it possible to get all your... I figured that was coming. Is that the errand you were running? Were you grabbing Sharpies? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find the staples. Yeah. OK, but you got to tell me, were you grabbing Sharpies just in case? Just in case. OK. You never know, we might have to like write a contract or something. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. If nothing else, he seemed pretty adamant. Yeah. And that is a fresh package of Sharpies. Yes, it is. Uh. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going with it. His story's good, and on the phone, he let nothing... Yeah, I'll give you that. On the phone, like, he was even confusing and stuff. Yeah. He knew us. The theory there is that he didn't know us right away. And we ended up calling him a whole bunch of times, and very frantically, unlike almost anyone would, and with Linus's voice. So the theory is that he didn't figure it out until after he offered us everything, and after we had finalized pricing. Because the idea in our heads is that he went back and watched some YouTube videos, and then was like, yeah, that is his voice for sure. And then went out and bought Sharpies, and that's why he was late for the meetup because he figured it out way later on. There's an hour and a half window there where he could have figured it out. And he swears up and down that he would have sold it for that much to anyone because he's been trying to sell it for two weeks and hasn't been able to move it. Uh, okay, so I did grab the note, which was still on the seat of his car. So let's see what it says. It says, huge fan, Linus, hope you win. Would, would he gamble and put a note in the box thinking, okay, some random... That part sketches me out more than almost anything else. Yeah. So... I don't... I don't think we're in the wrong. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't have to like And it. if Paul and Kyle are a little salty, I'll get it. But we also have done our due diligence. Okay, so we might have a slight change of plans here. Okay. Um, instead of you going to pick up, well, first off, I just found this ad on Craigslist, $25 for a 64 gig SSD, okay. which would be exactly what we're looking for. $25 is $5 out of our budget, though. We only have 20 bucks for an SSD. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is, instead of you going to Rancho to, to pick up that RGB strip for 10, just maybe cancel on that guy okay. and use five of those dollars to uh, get this SSD. Okay. We can use the other five. You had a great idea earlier. Instead of using RGB LEDs, if we just spent five bucks on like um, re red multicolored like uh, electrical tape, yeah, yeah. and we could just tape up the, the case, the system, make it look nice, do some racing stripes type of thing. We can, we can block over any, any open holes or anything that's yeah, on it. <laughs> exactly. The other good thing about this place is if they're available today, they're sort of in the same area where, at least the same direction as Micro Center, yeah. so it could also save us some time instead of us having to split off right now in different directions. So you worked some, you worked some magic yesterday with the 980 Ti. Thank you. I think you should try it on this guy and see if you can get one for 20. That's a 
go to SSD. Because there's 64 gig, gig SSDs. Well, actually, I think this is the guy, Z, oh, really? who called yesterday. Okay. I remember he was like, oh man, I hope you guys do, you know, can find him or whatever, but it didn't sound like he was willing to budge. Oh, okay. I'm hoping to God that he's not sold out of them because I can't remember if he mentioned that yesterday on the phone, if like that's why he couldn't help us or if it was a budget thing. He says several. Several sounds like a yeah, lot. Yeah, and it was posted a, a week ago, so I think we might still be in the clear. Okay. So I'm gonna give him a call right now. Okay. You know, in hindsight, I really wish that I, I had exact change for the 980 Ti guy, because that would mean we'd technically have five extra dollars at our disposal. But, well, you know, technically, since Linus never gave us the money to spend and we're using your money, wasn't that your money that you tipped him with and not the money from it technically was, yeah, that was my money that was in my pocket. That seems perfectly fair to me. In my pants. So I think that was my money. I think anything in your pants should be fair game. So does that mean we can now offer five extra dollars to any offer that we attach to an SSD right now? Uh, let's ask the audience. What do you think, audience? Is where you shake the camera yes. up and down to make the yes motion. Yes. No, that, that looks like a no, what you're doing right now, but you gotta go. All right, there we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> All right. Five dollars. Here we go. I don't know. I've seen Linus do shadier shit on this show. That's a good point. And ob obviously, if he had just given us the money up front, rather than leaving it in the bathroom at the hotel... That would have been way more concrete. Then, yeah. There would be no, no debate. Yeah. I think he purposely left it open just to see how we would react. It's sort of a social experiment. He's seeing if we can strategize this and find a way to work around Clearly. his his mistakes. I think. Actually, that would mean we have six extra dollars because you gave an extra dollar to the, the case guy. I you did. Gave him 10 instead of nine. Right. Okay, I'm gonna start making $26 offers on SSDs. Beautiful. So on OfferUp, we have found 120 gig Corsair Force drive. It says it's open box, but never been used. So it's actually a pretty fast drive and 120 gigs. That's 30 bucks. It's in Whittier, which is pretty close to here, but there's only make offer options, so we had to send him a message through the website. We have no idea if he's actually gonna respond, but it was only posted two days ago. So, seems seems like a viable possibility. He also has five five-star reviews, so that's good too. So I am having some success uh, as far as finding listings with OfferUp, uh, which I haven't used before, but very similar to let go. Just people take a quick picture, post it. Um, found 180 gig one, it's about 18 miles away. Of course, that Corsair one. I've reached out to about five or six people so far, which is some quick messages. There's a few more here now that I've expanded the search range, but we don't want to have to drive too far. We don't have that much time. But we need an SSD, <laughs> like, as soon as possible. We gotta get Windows started to load, get games, good to go. We now have about four and a half hours left until we're supposed to end. Okay, okay. There's a possibility we have a, we have a reply two minutes ago. Uh, 80 gig Intel for 25. Done. Um, can pick up any time. This is it. This is the one. We'll go away immediately. Um, get the address and then we'll all split up really quick. I'll do the. I'll go to Micro Center. You can get the drive. Two thirds of the competition gone. Uh, I think we're in pretty good shape. I think we have a pretty good amount of hardware uh, going on. Uh, obviously, we have some some hurdles to get past today. Got to get the SSD set up. Got to get Windows installed. Got to do some modding. Got to handle the RGB stuff. So we have a lot of work ahead of us, but we do have, I think, a decent amount of time. I feel like we're we're where we should be at this point in the competition. So very optimistic, I think. And uh, we also have some bribes for the judge, so that's gonna help too. Uh, we need to make this fit in here. That's what she said. <laughs> more accurately. Uh, more accurate. This fit that. That's true, because this is more important than that. But uh, in order to do this, we will require some power. I'm sure that's fine. To do this, we need power tools. Like this one. Black and Decker. That, I'm gonna try to do it with this first. It's a little bit more precision. We do, I do have a jigsaw available too. Um, if the Dremel, the rotary tool, it's not a Dremel, but it is a rotary tool. 
doesn't work, then um, pull out the big guns, go with the jigsaw. Completely different lead than what Paul's been working on. Um, I started with $20. He was like, that's way too low. I offered 30, and he said, the lowest I can do is 35. He's all the way in Fontana, so I was like, if I can drive 45 minutes to you, please, if you can do $30, I will drive all the way to you. He said, finally, okay, I'll take 30, and he's gonna meet me at Best Buy in Orange, so it's closer to me. That's beautiful. That is okay. so much better. So, so, so right now? Right now. Uh, well, actually, he hasn't confirmed when, but um, that's the only thing that could screw this up is if he's like, I can't meet till like 5 p.m. or something, because we need it now. If he can we confirm right that he can meet within the next hour, and go, 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 and I'll tell Huntington Beach guy that, that we're gonna back out. Or you could just go, go, go anyway, and we'll wait till Huntington Beach guy responds. You're going the same direction for both of them, so that's good. Yeah. Okay. So actually, we have, we have two options now for SSDs. We can go Paul's route for 80 gig SSD, $25, or we can go $30 for a 128 gig SSD on my end. Your, uh, your guy would save us $5, and we can put that towards more um, RGB tape uh, for the system. So even though it's a bit further away, it might be worth it. So, let's see where the bombs is. It's off Edinger, and that's the same exit you get off of to let's go to Micro Center, so it's probably just west of there. Okay, then, jeez, I don't wanna like, okay. Then um, ask him what time he can meet, and... I already asked 1 p.m. 1 p.m.? He said, cool, yes, we can meet us at Bonds off Springdale and Edinger, so. Okay. If you just go right now. Okay, uh, let me get. I should address. probably go straight there then. Right. Yeah. Before I hit Micro Center. It's right here. <laughs> now I get to tell this guy, like, hey, all that <laughs> haggling that I threw your way, um, never mind. <laughs> How can I message this to you, you know? Although I don't want to burn my bridge just yet, just in case this guy doesn't work out, so. Uh, I'm going to email this to you. Which email should I send? That just, uh, uh, yeah. That's Actually, do the, uh, you have another one? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. See you guys. Pull this snap off. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh. It'll do the next best thing, which is bend in and out of the way. All right. So now it's not lining up. Oh no, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I measured for, I measured for the top PCI. <laughs> uh, damn it! Need to do a little bit more cutting. I measured for the top PCI bracket, which is one X, not the not the second PCIe bracket, which is actually the 16 X that the card needs to plug into. No worries. Okay. Yes. Yes. Ah! Fuck yeah! Wait, let me try that again. <laughs> nope, no, don't do it. No do. <laughs> I'm becoming more and more happy with uh, with the case mod that we did here. Um, you know, slipshod though it may be. Look, it's acting as a GPU support right there. It's resting. So look at the big ass GPU triple slot design. Normally it'd be drooping down like a, a limp dick, but now it's just just erect, I guess. So this is this is really temporary, and honestly, just because I'm uh, just trying to figure out some solution. We ha we have two five and a quarter inch open bays at the front. The case did not come with with covers for. It's gonna be this is gonna be a new trend. I think people are gonna start doing this. Intel's gonna have a, a ton of pressure on them to make like really nice looking CPU boxes so people can put them on display. So I just got back. I got a couple things. One of which is the 80 gig SSD that we currently have Windows loading on right now. It's installing. It is functional. Windows is installed onto it, so uh, it just loaded. I got to do driver updates and get everything uh, transferred over as far as games and uh, tests from this system. Okay, so we've got all of our expenses entered now, and everything seems to be kosher. Here's everything we've got so far. We've got our Craigslist ad screenshotted and our invoices entered. And we've got $15 left for everything we could possibly need to put together our machine and take a shot at the 10% RGB bonus. Hit me with what you got first. So, um, 
couple things. I'm getting all of our software and games for all the benchmarking later so that we can start benchmarking as fast as possible. Second thing, aha! Uh -huh. Second thing, I located a grocery store that is rather close. So if we still want to go with the flowers idea, we can do that. I was sort of thinking we could punch a hole in the side panel mm -hmm. and have the flowers like coming out of the case. Red, green, and blue flowers. Yeah. Okay. Which should be actually like not that hard to get in terms of colors. Let me hit you with an idea I had this morning. Because you've been on you've been on the Craigslist. I've been emailing the Craigslist. Oh, I haven't heard back from anybody yet. Okay. But wouldn't you imagine that in late March, Christmas lights might be pretty cheap? Oh my god. Um Yeah, and blue is actually not that uncommon for Christmas lights. So I haven't heard back from anybody yet, but I also found another lead. Check out this place. LEDforeverything.com oh is located 15 minutes from here. Here's an RGB waterproof LED strip kit with controller. That would have tax on it, but it's too expensive. Well, hold on, hold on. But what I'm thinking is we don't need, uh, what is this? This is a five meter roll. Oh, wow. So we could show up there and we could be like, okay, we'll take like scrap strips. We have $15. Can you do it? Would you rather do RGB LED strips or like some weird thing with flowers? I don't know. I'm torn. I'd love to know if strips with a controller are an option. Like I feel better having the lighting and then trying to figure out if there's like some green like on a box that we could cut out to like, like I don't know, yeah. like do some decoration. I don't think we have a huge bid in the RGB realm. So my kind of concept is that- we Go get my RAM. No, I didn't say that. Cause we have to win the like, oh, that's creative vote. You know what I mean? Right. Instead of the just like, that's a really good implementation of RGB. I don't think we're going to win that vote. Or but if we do Christmas lights... We could go straight cancer. And we could buy five meters of lights. And just wrap like them up wrap. in a ball and chuck them in there. Like, I'm sure those guys are going to have real RGB lighting. We decided to go a different route. Uh, instead of RGB lighting altogether, we're just going to use tape because I think it's a little bit clever. And quite frankly, LED lights are a little bit overplayed. It's like, it's like I took a class in this or something. It's just so, so beautiful. Things are proceeding with the system itself. Uh, SSD's installed, I'm gonna tuck that stuff in there and, and put the side panel on, panel on once Kyle's finished with it. I, was a little, I got a little freaked out for a minute. Uh, when I first installed Windows, it, the, it was really sluggish, like doing anything, just pulling up the Windows menu. It seemed like it was just like, I would click Windows Mini, it would take five or ten seconds before it would actually pull up. I think it was just doing background Windows 10 initial installation setup stuff at that time. Uh, and there was no Wi-Fi or no internet at first, but that kicked in too. So I had to re do a couple restarts, but now everything seems back up to speed. I just installed Steam. So I got a copy games, and uh, I also did drivers on this, so I'm going to do that. Right now, the only thing I can think to do is kind of create this uh, staggered effect with the various colors that we have. Um, and then I'm going to work my way inward. I also kind of want to do some sort of fun border around the window itself, but uh, I'm just kind of letting the ideas come to me. But uh, it's very time consuming. I'm just hoping that it will eventually pay off. Oh, I was just going to say, I wish I had a magnetic uh, thing to put all these screws on. <laughs> well, I fix it sponsor. <laughs> okay. Uh, security measures. <laughs> it's fine. Why do you drop everything? It didn't. I didn't drop it. I put it down really fast. Did you hear an impact? I, yes. On your foot. Yeah. I put it down on my foot really fast. It's okay. I'll get it. There. No problem. I don't, you didn't used to drop everything. Now, you had said you were thinking radiator on the bottom. 
But I got to tell you, I'm actually... No, no, the door. On the door? Oh, on the side panel. Because, like, the tubes oh. are actually really long. Oh, shoot. So you'd be able to open the door. Shoot. Oh, dear. That's no, fine. That'll be fine. That's that'll be fine. And we could do some cool mod anyways, where they, like, come out of the door a little bit if we really wanted to. So were you thinking like that? Yeah, and then as an intake. We could, like... Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I can do that for Cut, sure. like, yeah. Like, intakes all along here. Yeah. And then this might actually end up being somewhat useful as an intake. Another option is, like, this seems to be multiple pieces here. Look, this pops off, whatever this is. What happens if we take this out? I wonder if it ends up looking really cool. Um, that's not gonna look cool. Ah, uh, yeah, that might not look that good. Okay, well, let me let me finish this anyway. Go, go It'll on. It'll be easier your... to mod that face if you want to, though. Yeah, possibly. So this does not look good. <laughs> no. How to mount the power supply. Okay, so you said you had an idea. I have one that you're not going to like, so you go first. I want to hear the idea I'm not going to like. If we decide that we don't need this, absolutely. We test yeah. everything out of the system, everything's fine. Yeah. Because, like, I, I think this is actually... Versus doing a dual power supply, like, janky thing where we have... Because we don't have a jumper. We'd have to pay, like, $10 for one of those power supply dual PSU jumper things. Yeah which we have, but like, really? Yeah. Um, I think this is a better bet to run this whole system. So, okay, so if we decide we don't need that. If we decide we don't need this, yeah. we could, there's space here. We yeah. could open the top up, shear the back off, cut a hole around it, and make a mounting plate with this, using these screw holes that are already nicely threaded. Why wouldn't I like that? That was the same idea I was gonna pitch you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it up. <laughs> Look at how much clearance there just is inside, inside here. Top. Yeah, and then just like so take, cut, take cut a hole in here for the modular off. interface. That would be easier. So I'm going to have to not destroy it, but like definitely use a soldering iron and dismantle it if I want it to come out of here. Hi, I'm just wondering, uh, I was looking at your 3528 RGB waterproof LED strip kit and I was just thinking like, I don't need the power supply and I don't need that many LEDs. So I was just wondering if you guys had like cheaper options if you don't need as many things, like maybe you just have some scrap RGB LED strips around and don't need those and we just get those in a clicker. Uh, um, but if you need, I can remove the power supply from the kit set, so uh, it will be cheaper. Yeah, okay. Um, we have about 15 bucks. Exactly. Nothing, nothing, like we, like we have a 5 and we have a 10, and that is the total amount of money that we have. Uh, what do you think we could get for that? Oh, actually, for fifteen dollars. So you mean that uh, you want us to ship it to you, or you? No, we can we can come pick it up for sure. If you can pick up from our location, we can just do a do a discount. You can just buy the entire fifty fifty RGB kit set for fifteen dollars with the power supply. So cash, no tax. Uh, no tax. Yeah, it's fine. Just fifteen dollar fed. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think we've got a deal. Uh, what what was the address? Wait a minute. I thought we were only doing the bottom. Rex. My bad. I think I did the same thing you did. Oh, shoot. Okay. I don't think it'll look that bad. Okay. Right. In other news, our stress test, uh, both IDA64 for the CPU and combustor plasma for the GPU are going strong. And the GPU is at 43 degrees. Yeah, that was with the front completely off. Yeah. And the side off. Oh, no, no, I know, I know, no, no. This isn't, like, this is not final temps. I just yeah. mean everything's running smoothly under, like, worst case scenario, we leave the side panel off and we just fill it with RGB. And we lose RGB and then we destroy anyways. Yes. <clears throat> we're, we're talking about how classy our victory is going to be at this point. Which matters. Which does matter. 
which does we matter. We both care about that. <laughs> we do both care about that. <laughs> what? There's AC in the garage? You knew this. I didn't know this. It is freaking hot in here. I would have turned it on. I told you yesterday that it exists. <sighs> okay, well, I don't know how to turn Obviously it on. Obviously, you haven't watched my garage work logs then, Lennox. No, I sure haven't. <laughs> we don't need to put anything on the hard drive, do we? Yeah, we do. We have an 80 gig SSD. Oh, we actually have to put the games on the hard drive. I thought we were just running them from the from the uh, external. So if if they buy, if someone, if one of you guys buys a bad part off Craigslist and it ends up not working, do you get that money back? If you buy a bad part? Yeah. Or if it breaks. Or if it breaks. Our rule has always been you got to deal with it. No one's ever done that. Well, people have broken things. You may recall that in Scrapyard Wars Season 4, I broke a motherboard and then had to repair it. I mean... Are they going to not have a system? You know what? Yeah. I'm feeling pretty charitable. If they got a broken part, should we? Sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what? That's that's the confidence level in this room. Let's let's <laughs> let's go buy our second 980 Ti. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. That. Yeah, see ya. In this case, today, it would be that you like get the money back, and you can re re reuse the money, I guess. Oh, I see. <laughs> but that won't help us out much right now, to be honest. Right. So clean the case, power supply mount, radiator mount for the front, which is basically just a matter of drilling a few holes. Yeah. Um, side panel windows. Which um, we have two of now. Yeah. Because I found this thing under here. Oh, seriously? Yeah. It's actually nice. like slightly bigger too. Nice. So we have two side panel windows from the power supply. Nice. So we have like a couple strategically placed classy windows. Yeah. So front vent cover mod. We have to do that. And then we have to uh, re-splice the fan connectors. Yeah. So um, I'm going to like assign things. Does that look pretty good? Sure. OK, we're not going to get back from our RGB errand until a little after 2. I still don't have all the games installed. And oh, install games. So we can maybe teamwork that once we're done the actual physical assembly, because I'm not going to want to overclock the GPU till we've got the side panel back on anyway. OK. All right, let's go get some RGB strips. Let me do some DSLR. Oh, sure. OK. Hello, hello. Uh, we called in earlier. 50-50? Um, 50-50 uh, for 15 bucks. Yeah. OK, so we got our clicker, which doesn't work super well, but it works enough for us. There's our 5 meters of LEDs, power adapter, IR receiver, power cable. Everything's good. We are good to go. And our FreshBooks expenses total five. 100 US dollars exactly. Not a penny to spare. Time to go get some food in yeah. the wind? Let's get some noms and let's get these installed. I love that we have five meters of RGB. What if we just, like, it has adhesive backing, right? What if we just take our five meters and just put an insane amount of it on the outside and just be like, we have the most RGB? That's... We should get the highest score because we have the most RGB. It is a score rating. Remember, they asked, like, what are the different categories? And we were just like, RGB. Bearing in mind who our celebrity judge is, I think we both know that isn't going to fly. There's your approximate cutout for the window. Turn that into straight lines. It's approximate. <laughs> we're in a hurry. <laughs> OK. Thanks, dude. So we. We have a we have a kind of a. It's like the one part that you think is just that throwaway item that you don't even have to worry about. 160 gig drive. Uh, we got it from the wholesale place. The guy popped it into a, a, a toaster and tested it while we were there. Pulled up uh, Crystal Disk Info and it was fine. It was recognizing, but he didn't eject it or do anything. He just pulled the drive out of the thing while it was still spinning. And I was like, <laughs> but I don't know. I, I should have said something more to be honest. But now that drive is not showing up anywhere in Device Manager. So we are kind of 
We have a problem because we only have an 80 gig SSD and we still have GTA 5 and 4 Honor to drop on and those are like, I mean, we, we need the, the space on the mechanical drive. So we will need to either throw ourselves at the mercy of, of Linus, who's always benevolent and forgiving, and not take this to, uh, as, as, to his advantage at all, or we could send uh, Ed into the garage to grab one of the existing 160 gig drives that I have in there that are completely functional and cheat. Does it count if we give Ed $10 for the hard drive? What if we just give Ed $10? Yeah, Ed, you want $10? I'll send you out. That way it's legit and not cheating at all. Yeah, I mean, at this point, like, we're not going to get away with anything. Well, yeah. <laughs> Any chance we had of that was ruined when we, like, let Ed record us with our with our shady plans. I think we should talk to Linus first. Okay. And just see what he says. Okay. I think this is an opportunity for Team Imba to throw a bone to Team Loser over there. If you guys can extract the drive, you can have it. Oh, really? Is, yes. Is this, is this a trick? Is this a trap? The trap is that we are so great that we have enough extra hardware to make up for your guys' failings. Okay, so apparently Linus and Luke have so much hardware, according to Linus, that this is actually an overflow, and they just handed this off to us. They said if we could extract the drive and it worked properly, then, you know, they've basically just thrown us a bone, so. <sighs> Let's see if this works. I'm gonna go ahead and crack it open. This looks like a job for... I fix it. Let's see, so it looks like we need, I don't know what you call that one, but I know what it looks like. Uh, first Cinebench run, uh, we're clocked to 4.6 gigahertz on the CPU. It's getting pretty warm, hitting mid to upper 80s uh, on the cores two. Actually, core two hit 92, package hit 93. So that's about as warm as we want. And I don't think I can do anything further about securing that CPU cooler or anything more. I think this is the big drawback of the T4 versus like a Hyper 212. Um, we did hit 665 as far as the score goes, so we're probably okay. But if they have an eight core, if they have a 4770, or even like a 30, even a 3770K that's overclocked, then we'll probably get beat there. But if they have a straight quad core, I think we have a pretty good chance. Thanks, I fixed it. Um. Shit. So, it's IDE. Do we have a, an IDE to SATA? No. no. Oh, you know what though? I mean, I do have an IDE to say to USB adapter, or IDE to USB adapter. Let's just use that. Exter and just have the drive external. We could still stick it in the case somehow. No. I don't have, well. There's nowhere to route the. It's uh, to plug in via USB, so. You can take a USB header, just pop it in there, right? Like, unscrew it from there, and just keep it inside. What? Let's turn USB header. The adapter plugs into like a USB cable, like that needs to plug into one of the plugs on the back of the system. Yeah, no, that's what you're saying. Take one of those, just connect it. Just plug it direct straight in to yeah. the front, or why not? In the oh, back? those might be USB one, <laughs> which would severely limit the drive's capability. So what if we what if we did USB three in the back? Yeah, USB two or three is fine. Um, how, but how we long? need we would need that adapter, which. I'm pretty sure it's in the garage, and I don't think I know exactly where it is again. I'd have to go out there or something. So, um, yeah. Do you think it would be a new camera? Oh, what? It'd be what? Yeah. I, I, have a, I have a vague idea where it is. I mean, I could send you in there. Not you people on the camera, but you, Ed. I could send you in there to uh, investigate if you want. Yeah, Ed. See if you can hunt it down. Go do our bidding. So, cupboards, you remember the uh, drawers in the bottom? The plastic drawers. Uh, so the latest adapter works, it's got IDE on that side. Plugs in right there. 
and then USB. And then it comes with a power adapter to plug in like a Molex plug there or SATA. Um, but since we are going to try to install this internally, we can just use one of the Molex plugs already in the case. Hopefully that'll work. What if, if we plugged into the back, if we wanted to just make it a little bit more hidden, would it be possible to like just route the cable around, maybe cut out a little hole here, and actually have the drive in the uh, five and a well, quarter we have, inch bay? We have space back there. Because like I was just going to have it right here. The adapter would stick off right, th right there. Oh, you're and just going to have the drive right here? Yeah. And then I can just feed that cable out through one of these okay. and plug it in the back. Yeah, that works. Okay, let me do that then. It's there. We have a disk that we can oh, initialize. All thanks to Linus and Luke. Never mind. Device is not ready. When was the last time you got really, really excited that you had a floppy connector? <laughs> <laughs> at, the, at the end of this, uh, <laughs> at the end of this modular cable, there is a floppy connector, and I have no idea if this is going to make a difference at all. But I can actually just plug this into the ID adapter. <laughs> They're going to look at this and be like, "What the hell is going on with that hard drive in there?" I think that might have done it because when I plugged it in, the light came on on the adapter in there. So plugged in here to the hard drive, and then looped back there to plug in the uh, IDE to USB adapter. Should be good. <laughs> Hold on. Well, the drive still says it's not ready. So I don't know what else to do to attempt to get this drive to work. Uh, it came out of a, you know, Seagate external device, whatever. So my thoughts are either that it's dead, uh, or there's some something malfunctioning with it, or there is some advanced disk initialization thing that I apparently don't know how to do, because I just keep getting the device is not ready. And uh, so, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Goddamn hard drive. I'm going to just start cutting this. Go, go, yeah, go. We don't, we have no time to measure. GTA is installed. OK, problem. What? I got like an inch. Cutting disk is now that. I was going slow, I was letting the Dremel do the work and everything, it just like, whoop. So there's just like a gash. Jig? Oh god. Have you ever used a jigsaw? Not in a long time. I have. What about a, um, an angle grinder? Do you think he has one of those? That would be great. Hey Paul, do you have an angle grinder? Do you have another cutting blade? No angle grinder thinks he might have another. Like one more cutting blade? But doesn't know where it is. If it's the same type, if it's not a hardened cutting blade, I'm not going to make it through. Bring, bring it in, let's have a look at it. It's pretty bad. Any idea how we're going to cut the case? I haven't found anything that would work. Because so this far. looks abominable. Yeah, it looks pretty terrible. So basically, no way to cut this then. Okay, well, what else is on the list? What else is a high priority for you? I've got front vent cover mod, but like, I'm out of blades. We can't, and we can't even like cut this for sure. Oh, yeah. this is aluminum. Okay, we might have been able to cut this, but like, yeah. yeah. And then PSU mount. Okay, get the power supply out. Maybe disconnect all the modular cables. Sure. Okay, well, we've got 25 minutes to build a computer that works. And it already works. Yeah. So this can't go that badly. It's just a matter of like our aesthetic scores will be terrible. Yeah, get that disconnected. Uh, give me that. I'll play with yeah. that. You get the drives installed? Yeah, sure. And I've got to get the rad installed too. Should I even dust it? Maybe just go outside and be like, <sighs> OK, there you go. We have like an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, we probably don't have time to go out and get another drive. We don't have money left to go out and get another drive. So we were stuck trying to figure out how to work that one, or I'd, like we, re we really had no other options. So um, thankfully, Linus 
offered us, you know, threw us a bone and offered us this Seagate enclosure that had a drive in it that, uh, but pulling it out, we found it was IDE. IDE drives obviously have a completely different connector that our board doesn't even have. Tried to use a USB adapter. Uh, that one eventually also turns out was bad and would not format at all. So yeah, we, we really had no other choice but to take extreme measures. It's recognized. It's there. Initialize? It's already initialized. It didn't need to be initialized. It was already initialized and formatted. Ooh. So this is connected to the adapter. Yeah. I powered it differently, but I think there is an issue with plugging in the power both to the drive and to the adapter when it's connected via USB. Something like that. Anyway, I'm going to format this. System reserved and local disk. This is the, uh, the this is the IDE drive that Linus said we could use. Of course, why would it be anything else? It's the exact specific IDE drive. He said, "You guys use this drive," and we said, "Okay, yeah, Linus." It's, it's, it's the WD drive. successfully, and the drive disappeared. Kyle, did, you, did it come unplugged? Did it get bumped? Did it did it get switched off? We wanted to thank you, Ed, for uh, for joining our criminal uh, uh, group. Our cabal, or I don't know what that's called. Sorry if you were incriminated, um, but we appreciate you risking everything to go and uh, get us another drive. Um, you, you did get one that was still IDE. We still appreciate that, though. <laughs> Somehow it still had the same issue. And we had three drives that didn't work. And <laughs> so, so I guess all of that is to say, for any of you at home, uh, we did what we did because we had no other choice. Luke and Linus are almost done, but without any tools, can their RGB solution make the cut? And hard drive trouble pushes Paul and Kyle to the limit. Just how far will they go to stay in the game?